Hi, I'm Henry Thomas from RigGeek.com and this is my guide how to water start the lazy way. Now I call it the lazy way because it's all about plonking your feet up on the board, getting the sail to do all the work, lifting you out of the water and hooking in straight away to initiate planing early. The whole idea is to minimise the strain on your arms as much as possible. Now before you learn to water start it's important that you know how to uphaul because there will be times when there simply isn't enough wind to water start. Uphaul involves scampering up on the board, putting one foot either side of the mast base, pulling up the sail, positioning the board so the wind is to your back, grabbing the boom, sheeting in and proceeding to windsurf as you normally would. Now while you can get pretty proficient at uphauling and be quite quick at it, Water starting really is much faster and more convenient. The key to a quick water start is learning how to handle the rig. Using mast foot pressure to position the board, grabbing the boom, plonking your feet up onto the board and letting the sail lift you out of the water. Then hooking in straight away to initiate early planing the lazy way. Handling the rig starts on the beach by grabbing the sail with the boom and the back of the board by the foot strap. Chuck it in the water, lift the sail up by the mast, grab the boom with both hands, step onto the board with the back foot, follow with the front foot behind the mast base, sheet out when you're over the board and hook in. Handling the rig continues when you get to the other side. As you step off, try to keep the rig out of the water. Apply pressure through the base of the mast to steer the board around. As it comes around, get ready to flip the rig. As you flip it, grab it by the mast above the boom, back hand on the boom, front hand on the other side of the harness lines, feet up on the board, sheet in to pull you up, sheet out at the top so you don't fall forward, lean back and hook in. Now if the sail does fall in the water, grab it by the mast and pull it up over your head. Grab the boom with your back hand and use mast foot pressure to spin the board. As it comes around, flip the rig, position the sail holding the mast, grab the boom either side of the harness lines, feet up on the board, sheet in, sheet out when you get up the top and hook in and lean back and sail. Now when you're out in deep water rescuing a kite surfer, Things can get a little bit more tricky. Work your way up the mast. Now in this case I was backwinded so I had to go right up to the tip. Lift the panels up into the air to catch the wind so that the clue flips. Round it goes. Now lift the sail up over your head. Work your way down the mast to the boom. Keep holding the mast with your leading hand and with your back hand grab the boom behind the harness lines. Then without changing the orientation of the sail, grab the boom with both hands evenly spaced on either side of the harness lines, using mast base pressure to start turning the board around. Grabbing the back of the board with your leading hand to make the job a bit quicker. Once the board's positioned, feet up on the board, sheet in, the sail will pull you up, sheet out so you don't fall forward, and you're ready to start sailing to rescue that kite surfer. Now rig recovery in deep water can get really tiring, so it's a good idea when you're learning to wear a personal flotation device. But you can also grab the back of the board like this and rest the boom on your arm and float in the water. You can also orientate the sail very quickly by moving the nose of the board around and flipping the rig like I'm doing here. Just keep switching hands and, uh, and resting that boom on your arm. When you're ready to water start again, you've got your breath back, feet up on the board, sheet in, the sail lift you out of the water, sheet out, and then hook in. Okay, so now that you've learned how to manage your rig, the next thing to learn is how to actually water start. Now you need to go out on a light day with a small sail 
and just hang off the boom and get a feel for what it feels like to get lifted out of the water. Things you need to try are tipping the sail forward and back to see how this maneuvers the board around in the water. Tipping the mast forward pushes the nose of the board downwind and tipping the mast backwards pulls the nose of the board upwind. The aim is to position the sail in a balanced neutral position where you can sheet in and have it pull you up out of the water. Okay, so far we've learned how to manage our rig and how to control our rig. Now it's time to apply what we've learned and go out and actually practice water starting for real. Pick a day that's windy enough to get you planing, rig an appropriate sail, find a shallow area and practice. The first mistake that you're going to make is pushing the board away with your back foot as you try and lift yourself up out of the water. Another common mistake is just not positioning the sail appropriately so that it's nice and balanced when you sheet in. This causes it to become unstable as you lift up and it just comes crashing down on you and flattens you into the water. You need to develop an intuitive feel for when a sail is balanced. Another critical detail is that you should orientate the board for a broad reach. That is, the nose of the board should be pointing slightly downwind. This helps get your weight over the tail of the board as you step up onto the board during the water start. Once you're up, hooked in and planing, that's the time to start pointing up wind again. The final humiliation comes from sheeting in too hard and having the sail pull you up, over and crashing down on the other side of the board. This is why it pays to be lazy. Plonk your feet on the board, hang off the boom and just let the sail lift you up out of the water. As you sheet in, just relax those arms, pull your bum in and just let the sail lift you towards the board and up. Once again, bending your legs so that your bum almost scrapes the side of your board as the sail lifts you up out of the water. Then once you're up on your feet, making sure you sheet out so that you don't keep flying forward and up over the front of the board. Now that you know what to do, just keep practicing. You'll be surprised how quickly you'll pick it up and progress. And water starting really is one of those core gateway skills for windsurfing. Once you can water start, it just opens the door to a whole lot of other activities that you can do out on the water. So enjoy yourself, have fun, enjoy the sun and the fresh air, and uh, I'll see you out on the water. <laughs>